Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to give the details of the differences between VHDL and Verilog languages. So both are very important languages in the design of digital systems, but there are special importance in the Verilog compared to VHDL at few steps, but VHDL somewhat a basic and easy language compared to Verilog. Okay, let us see the major differences between this Verilog and VHDL. And recently I have observed, recently this question has been asked in the university exams. So what is the difference between, give the differences between VHDL and Verilog as well. Okay, so let us take VHDL on left hand side. VHDL, HDL, it is a hardware description language and it is Verilog HDL, Verilog HDL. Okay, so now VHDL, what is the full form of VHDL? VHDL full form is very high speed, very high speed, hardware description language, hardware description language. Very high speed hardware description language. VHDL stands for very high speed. Here H stands for high speed hardware description language. VHSIC very high speed integrated circuit. Very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language. V stands for VHSIC. VHSIC very high speed integrated circuit. HDL stands for hardware description language. And of course, this Verilog does not have any full form. It is simply Verilog only. It is simply Verilog only. Okay. So now, the second one is VHDL. VHDL is employed to model. Is employed to model is employed to model digital system at various levels digital system at various levels and verilog hdl is also similar kind of the same vhdl language it is also used to define hardware at various levels it is used to define, it is used to define hardware at various levels, various levels. That means, uh, for example, we can say, for example, we can say ranging from algorithm level to gate level, ranging from algorithm level to gate level. Here the example in Verilog, so the meaning of this one to define hardware at various levels means gate level, RTL and algorithm level gate level rtl and algorithm level okay so these are the various stages we have gate level rtl stands for register transfer level register transfer level it is not register transistor okay please remember it is register transfer level the data among the registers is going to be transferred from one register to another register register again made up of group of flip-flops okay again flip-flops are made up of gate level so ultimately everywhere we are having gate level so we are externally saying like algorithm gate level and different circuit level like that okay now coming to the third one it is difficult to compile it is difficult to compile 
which one VHDL. VHDL is somewhat difficult to compile because it is having two different parts of the program. It is easy to compile. It is easy to compile. In VHDL, user defined data types are used. In VHDL, user defined user defined data types are used. All data types used in Verilog, all data types used in Verilog are defined defined by Verilog language only defined by Verilog language only G -U -A -G. now coming to the next one it is not case sensitive very 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 important we can say it is case insensitive it is case insensitive insensitive but what about this one it is case sensitive it is case sensitive what do you mean by case insensitive and case sensitive suppose i am writing and gate example and gate has to be defined so and has a keyword a n d if you write like this that treats it as and gate and even if you write like this that treats it as and gate or you can write it as simply i a n d like this also you can write so whatever may be the letter whether it is a capital or small it does not uh, it does not understand in a different way all these will be considered in the same way okay whatever may be the capital or small but what about here here in the case of Verilog, you should use particularly uh, capital letters and small letters properly. Okay, for your keywords, all are should be in small letters. So it is case sensitive. And coming to the next point, functions and processors are assembled in a package. Functions and processors. are assembled are assembled in a package functions and processors are assembled in a package here functions and processors are assembled in a separate system files assembled in separate system files okay here we use in vhdl we use packages libraries like that but whereas here separate files are maintained in vhdl a library a library is a store for is a store for compile entities compile entities packages packages and configurations and configurations useful for useful for managing different projects managing different projects Concept of library and package is not used in Verilog. There is no concept of there is no concept of libraries and packages. Generally, we use all in a separate files. If you want to define anything, that has to be maintained in a separate file. But there is here predefined libraries are there. So that we have to store at one place libraries packages there we will call and we'll use them 
so generate statements replicate generate statements or replicate a number of instances a number of instances of the same design of the same design there is no equivalent to generate statement in verilog there is no equivalent to generate in verilog okay in verilog so there are uh, lot many uh, lot many packages libraries and predetermined keywords have been eliminated in the verilog verilog is somewhat a higher level language it uses very less number of uh, lines to write the code so whereas you can say simply vhdl consists of architecture entity like that we have two parts to write the code architecture is nothing but where we are writing the behavior of the code and the entity is the part where we are writing the inputs and outputs but whereas in verilog we don't have such two different uh, uh, architectures we have only one direct module okay or we can say uh, that also ninth one here code is code consists of code consists of entity and architecture here code consists of only module okay this is these are the differences between vhdl and verilog thank you